he said, so is it really right? Is it really true you're an atheist? He said, yeah, I don't, I just can't believe in a God that I can't see. I can't believe in, in all this. Just can't understand it. Yeah. That man had a, a vessel there, somebody, a potter, uh, had made. And uh, he looked at that vessel and he said, I want to ask you something. Uh, he said, do you know who made this vessel right here? And uh, he said, no, I don't know who made that. And he turned it up on the back side of it and had that man's name. He said, have you ever seen this man? He said, no. I said, he said, have you ever talked to this man? He said, no. He said, but do you believe that he made this vessel? Yeah. And he said, yeah, his name's on it. And he said, well, God's name's on the stars. Yeah. Yeah. God's name's on the moon. Yeah. His name's on the sun. Yeah. His name's on the birds of the air. Right. Amen. Uh, the old black preacher said he don't need to put his uh, name in the corner of it. He, he owns it. He made it. Uh, yeah. It's all his. So if somebody made that vessel who made them trees out there who made them leaves who made them amen who makes it die and keep it going why don't it just die and if evolution's right why are we still evolving if that's right why if big bang's right why ain't they still a big bang no amen the, there was darkness over the face of the deep and the spirit of the Lord moved upon it and God said let there be light and there was light Lord I feel the Holy Ghost when I said that God said let there be light and there was light now brother that's power that's God amen but Paul said in Acts he said all men have this not knowledge he said all men don't know that there's this God but the blessing about this thing is before you die the Bible said the grace of God to bring it forth salvation it hath appeared unto all men there will not a man stand before God and say Lord amen I never knew who you was I never heard it preached about you he wouldn't be a just God to send you to hell and the gospel never reach your ears but somewhere down in the, in the rocks of life you're going to have to make a decision amen that's what happened to some of you the night that you got saved the man of God brought it out and laid it out in front of you that you had to make a choice. Amen. Whether you're going to accept God or whether you're going to turn to the Lord. Amen. Or whether you're going to reject him. I'm glad as Nathan preached the good this morning. I'm glad I accepted the Lord. And I'm glad my name's in the book of life. I'm glad my name's in the book of life. I'm glad my name's in the book of life. I'm so glad my name's in the book of life. I'm so glad my name's in the book of life. I'm so glad my name's in the book of life. I'm so I'm glad my name's in the book of life tonight. I know that more than anything in my world tonight. Bless his holy name. You say, preacher, do you really know that? I know that. I know that. I know that I've been a nothing and a nobody and a failure. I know all about what you're talking about this morning. And I hate it. I hate, amen, of the things in my life that of the devil gets me at times. And I hate making mistakes, but bless the name of God, amen. I know one thing, amen. I'm like that man. He said then that I was blind, but now I see. Brother, when he made a change in my life, the Holy Ghost came in. He made a difference in me. And brother, I know he's alive and well. I don't have to go to Jerusalem and look at an empty hole. I know he's alive tonight. Woo! Takes my breath away, Brother Matt. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. You remember what Brother Tim Lester said? And one night when he was preaching, he said, that one that don't ever come to church. And he said, some of you look at them. And he said, they shout. And maybe in your mind, uh, he said that he knowed somebody like that. And they was a shout one night. And he said that, Lord, how in the world could they be a shouting? Amen. And he said that while he was watching him shout, he said, the Lord knows the one that needs it the most. Amen. I don't know who needs it. It may be me tonight. Amen. But I know one thing. God knows who needs it the most tonight. And I pray tonight that God will take the cup of blessing and not withhold a drop from you if you need it tonight. Amen. Ain't nobody in here comparing apples to apples. Amen. I don't feel like I've been 
better than you and I hope you don't feel like you've been better than me. Amen. But if you need a blessing tonight, I pray that God, amen, would rain it right down on top of your head and that it would flow down you like it did Aaron's beard. Amen. Run right down the borders of your garment tonight. Amen. They ain't nothing like the blessing of God. And they ain't nothing like the Holy Ghost. And they ain't nothing like the anointed touch of God. I want God to bless every one of you tonight. They ain't nothing like it tonight. Bless his name, bless his name. I may just testify a minute, Brother Andy. Amen. I appreciate the goodness of the Lord. I'm glad my name's there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is your name there tonight? If you have your Bible, turn to the book of Ephesians. I ain't going to preach just a minute tonight. I thought this name, go ahead, Lord, testify tonight. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I had a thousand years before. I lived before the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will draw my strength from Jesus as I lay upon his breast and demons tremble in his presence. In Jesus' name, they have to go, for there is no other fountain where I can be more satisfied than in the arms of Christ my Savior. No blessings I will be denied. They ain't nothing like the Lord, are they? Somebody else tonight want to say something for the Lord. You know me well enough to know I want the Lord to have his way. I want God to be exalted tonight. I'd like to see somebody that ain't never put their feet in this water. Old Brother Dale Wheeler said that his mother lived for God a long time. Said as she was getting sick, said she'd go down there in the mornings and see her before he went to work and said she'd raise up off the bed. She was getting that dementia. Amen. Losing her mind, losing her praying the thought and knowing who Dale was in the family. But he said she'd look down and said, honey, look at that blue water. Look at that water. And he said she'd put her feet over in that water and said she'd look up and say, I love the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, brother, I tell you what, I, if you ain't never put your feet in that water tonight, if you ain't never got in that wheel of Ezekiel's wheel that he saw in the middle of the wheel, if you ain't never got in Jeremiah's fire in his bone, if you ain't never got in none of that, amen, that John said, there's one coming after me that's mightier than I that's going to baptize you with the fire and the Holy Ghost. If you ain't never got into none of that tonight, amen, you ought to say, God, let me get in that. God, put me over in that. God, I want you to take my body, my line, and my soul. Put me over in that, God. Let me feel that, Lord. Somebody said, preacher, amen, is it all fake? Is it all phony? Surely you don't think all these people in the whole wide world are fake it is. But there is a God. His name is Jesus. There is a Savior. He died and rose again. And he's alive. Tonight, I see it at the right hand of the throne on high. Amen. Bless his name. Somebody else tonight. Hallelujah. You got to get out of the boat sometimes. You got to get out of the boat. Amen. Whatever the Lord bids you to do tonight. Hell bless his name. I, I don't know why. I just sitting there tonight. I, I don't never do nothing like this. I really don't, but I looked over at Caleb Wilson. I, I don't know nothing about Caleb. I don't. I, ain't, I know he's a good boy. I don't know if he's a fighting some or going to be a fighting some. I just felt like the Lord said you ought to go over and get him and march around this church. Now the Lord knows more than I know. And I told Caleb, I said, if this ain't of the Lord, I'm sorry. But I just felt like I ought to do this with you tonight. I see sometimes, amen, the shout don't come. Amen, the walls don't come, Brother Walter. Amen, you gotta shout before the walls fall. And sometimes, amen, you gotta march and march. And that's the way I feel a lot of times in my Christian life. Hey, we're just marching and marching and marching. And no, nothing ever changed. Nothing ever gonna happen. I praise God. But every 
once in a while of the Lord will say, all right, Jason, open your mouth and shout. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me just try that tonight. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Somebody said, preacher, that's fake. You don't know, amen, what I know. Hallelujah. It ain't fake tonight. He's real. He's real to me. He's real in my soul tonight. And the Bible said they shouted and the walls fell. Hey Amen. I know what a wall is. Oh, yeah. I told my wife the other day, I made a little pact with God for the last month and a half. I've been trying to read this on my knees again the way the Lord told me to a few years ago. And I've been trying to pray. I asked my wife, I said, how can a man read so much and pray so much and be so cold? Hey Amen. That's what I asked her the other day. Hey Amen. I know what it is. It's wall, wall after wall after wall after wall. Hey Amen. That's what I was going to read about tonight. Paul said, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. I may not be a wrestler against flesh and blood, but I'm wrestling. Hey Amen. I may not be a fighting of mankind, but I'm fighting, my friend. Hey Amen. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be worth it after all. Hey Amen. That's what I was going to talk about tonight. I'll say about five minutes and then I'll be done. Hey Amen. It's going to be worth everything that you've got to go through. Hallelujah. Some of you may have to crawl up. Some people may not have as hard a time as it getting there. Some does. Hey Amen. Some folks may have it a little bit easier. But the Bible said the kingdom of heaven that is suffering for violence, but the violent take it by force. It sure ain't easy. Matter of fact, you didn't even have to fight before you got saved. Amen. You didn't even start fighting until you get saved. I will preach a what in the world would I want to get saved for? Amen. Because you're on the losing side. Amen. If you turn the world and you turn sin, you're on the losing side. But if you're on the Lord's side, hallelujah, he's going to take us to a land. He said, let not your heart be troubled and you believe in God believe also in me I go to prepare you a place and if I go I will come again of this same Jesus you see going away he's coming back in like manner he's coming in power and in great glory tonight all right thank you Jesus hallelujah bless his name the Lord's wanting to do something for somebody tonight he is somebody needs to obey God somebody needs to get out of the boat you've been sitting in that pew long enough hey man God's wanting to see you get blessed tonight hey man you may have to do something plumb foolish I'll never forget it I've told it a lot I was in revival years ago hey man there's about eight or nine people that raised their hand lost that night and I did everything that I could to try to get them to come pray and nobody would pray all of a sudden in the back there's a man a man that was doing somersaults I'm doing somersaults I don't even know how a man just rolling over like a young and wood out in the yard here he come he rode all the way down Hey man, everybody just looked at it so funny. Everybody just looked at it so crazy. Me first on the line, I thought, what in the world's that fella are doing? He got down there and he prayed. Well, nobody never did think nothing about it. All of a sudden, the rest of them people got up and they got to getting on the altar and people got to getting saved. Hey man, I mean, they was mothers are walking across family, had to get to their children. Hey man, you remember, you ever seen it like that? How where they had to walk across one another? Hey man, when they got done praying, and everybody got done getting saved. They lined everybody up. Hallelujah. And they started over here. And people one by one got to testifying how the Lord saved them. I got down to the end. And guess who the last man was? And that pastor said, go ahead, son, testify. Oh, he said, pastor, he said, I've been saved. He said, but I was a praying tonight so hard for the lost. He said, God told me if I do summer sets down to the altar, I bet he'd save every one of them. Hallelujah. That's what the man said and brother he's standing God kept his word he saved everyone I'm going to tell you sometimes God may tell you to go down to Jordan amen and dip seven times God may tell you some of the silliest thing 
but your ways ain't God ways. It's designed to take your pride anyway. It's designed to rip you of your flesh. Amen, that you may have the glory of God. You can't go to heaven. A flesh and blood can't go to the city of God. God's trying to get the flesh stripped of you every time he can. Anybody need to obey God? Bless the Lord. Anybody need to obey God? Amen. I ain't efficient for nothing. God don't tell you nothing. Don't make a fool of yourself. But if God's a telling you to do something right now, right now's the time to do it. Anybody tonight? Hallelujah. Hey Amen. Well, just wait a minute here. Praise God. Anybody here tonight need to obey God? Anybody need to do anything? Is that you, Ethel? You need to do something? No. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Matthew. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's don't let it be the same old dozen. Let's don't let it be the same old dozen. Amen. Let's have some fresh oil. Let's have some fresh oil. Amen. God are telling you to do something. Bless our preaching brethren. Amen. Praise the Lord. I ain't trying to work up a thing. I've got enough sense to know and I've tried to work it up to make a fool of myself. Amen. But when it's a coming down from yonder world, it's a coming down and God's a talking to his people tonight. Amen. God's a beckoning and his. it ain't that you won't be, it ain't that you won't fail the Lord again. It ain't that you won't have a, if you do what you need to do tonight, Walter, it ain't that you won't ever have another bad day. Amen. But we get through the days, thank God. And when we come to the wall, David of old said, I came to the wall and I couldn't get over it. But he said, sometimes it gets on me so big he said I just leap right over the wall hallelujah to God amen sometimes that's what the Lord's wanting you to do tonight anybody else tonight God bless you preacher man God bless you mother praise the Lord somebody else tonight somebody else tonight come on hallelujah we're looking for a miracle tonight come on somebody else tonight Holy Ghost speak to them Amen. Quench not the spirit. You may be mean to your mother. You may be mean. I mean, you may be speak mean to your wife at times. And you may have back talked your mama. But whatever the Lord tells you to do, listen with a sensitive ear. Whatever God tells you to do tonight, amen, obey the Lord. Obey God with a sensitive heart. Amen, and a humble mind. Had to obey him. Hallelujah to God. I want to obey him, don't you? Have the Bible said, them that obey him, have they'll leave the good of the land. God's got something for us, brother. JD, that's something the world can't give us. Amen, if I could get it on a shelf, I'd stand in line for it. But I can't get it on the shelf. But old James said, every good and every perfect gift come down from the Father of lights in whom there is no verbalness, have no shadow of turning. If God will do it for me, God will do it for you. If he'll do it for a white man, he'll do it for a black man. If he'll do it for a poor man, he'll do it for a rich man. Amen. What is it tonight that the Lord is a beckon and a telling you to do? Amen. It's between you and the Lord. We're not trying to make a gaze and stock out of nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember one time in a revival years ago, there's a lady that said, she said, I want to praise the Lord so bad. She said, but I just can't. Hey, Amen. Sometimes we like that. Well, that just ain't for me. I'm sorry you're like that, but it is for you. It's for every child of God that's been born again. And I told that lady one night, Brother J.D., I said the next time the spirit gets real high and the people of God are shouting and praising the Lord, I said, you just go in the Sunday school room and shut the door. Amen. And you want to shout praise the Lord. I said, just go in there and shut that door. Amen. Just raise your hand and start shouting and praising the Lord. I one night in the revival. Amen. The power of the Lord got to moving. Our people got to open man God and I watched her I seen her out of the corner of my eye hey man going I thought 
Lord, I wonder what she's doing. Is she going back there? Hey, Amen. People out here was a shouting and a praising the Lord. There's a glorifying God. Hey, Amen. But here, yeah, just in a minute. Hey, Amen. I heard something back in this wouldn't hear this church. I was in a revival. Hey, Amen. I heard somebody was shouting and a praising the Lord. I thought, who is that back there? I thought it must be that woman. Hey, Amen. But here she come, brother, through that door. I had a side door just like this. Hey, Amen. She lost all of her dignity and she come in the house of God. Hey, Amen. Oh, you gotta get off the training wheels, brother, every once in a while and let the Holy Ghost take you higher. I said, let the Holy Ghost I'll take you higher. Amen. That's what the church needs. It's the Holy Ghost. That's what we need. I used to hear my wife. I pray like this when my children were little. Lord, give them an experience with the Holy Ghost. Ain't nothing like. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Somebody say, well, you talk about it. Amen. So much. Because God the Father, He was the minister, He was the God of the Old Testament. God the Son came and did his work, but now he sent the Holy Ghost, amen, to take up his abode. The Holy Ghost is here. And I heard him say, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after the righteousness, for they shall be filled. Anybody else tonight? Anybody else? Yeah. Amen. Somebody said, what's Rosa doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Amen. What are you doing? Well, the Lord ain't told me to do nothing. Don't do nothing. We don't want you to do nothing. Hey, Amen. We don't want you to do a thing. This service is going to come and go. Do you ever wonder why services start out real high and this in a minute it seems like they just fall off to nothing? I'm going to answer that question for you. Somebody God beckons unto and somebody disobeys the Lord and the Holy Ghost is quenched and the Holy Ghost is tender. Amen. He's tender. Amen. He's easily entreated but he's easily run off. Amen. He's easily, amen, to get offended. And brother, you sit there and tell him, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Sometimes God wants you to swallow your pride. He wants you to get down humble. He wants you to get down low. 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 That's why God said, Amen. Humble yourself. Get yourself down there. Don't wait on the Lord to do it. Amen. Get yourself down there. He said, Them that humble themselves, He said, I'll exalt them. Anybody else tonight? Anybody else need to do anything? Praise His holy name. All right. We're done. Thank you, Jesus. You sure? You gonna let this service go? Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It'd be the foolish, most foolish thing. My favorite place to eat is Bonanza. I like it. They don't sell alcohol. It's a steakhouse. I can go there and I can eat. And uh, I loved it. But it'd be plum foolish for me to say, Christy, get in the car. We're going to Bonanza tonight. And go there and say, would you get, just go ahead and seat yourself. You seat yourself there. Yeah. And then the waitress come by and say, may I take your order, please? No, we just come sit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we didn't come to eat. We just come. Well, that's kind of unusual. Yeah. yeah. You mean you don't want nothing to eat? Yeah. Hey, look up here at me, child of God. Yeah. You mean you don't want nothing to eat? Come on, Jason. You mean you don't want help? Yeah. No, no, I just thought it'd be good for us to come over here and sit and look what everybody's doing. Yeah. Come on. Watch what everything's going on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I love all of you enough, but I don't love you enough to waste my time on Sunday and Sunday night and Wednesday night to come watch what you're doing. Okay. No, boy, I'm here tonight for the, to get what I can get from the table. I'm a following him for the fish and the bread and the miracles and the word. Yeah. I'm a following for him, following for him for it all. Yeah. Anybody else tonight want anything tonight need to do anything? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Jesus. All right.